Hi, this is Kames. I work for ITAcademy.in. And in this session, we're going to concentrate on another new feature of ASP.NET 4.4 that's called as Client ID Mode and Client ID Heroes of X. So I'm going to explain you these two topics. Now let's go back to VS 2010 and try to create a new page. And I'll call this as Client ID Mode Demo.ASPX. So to explain you this concept, um, I will take my SQL data source control and uh, I've also got a grid view with me. I'll be pointing my SQL data source to my existing connection string, which you have seen in the earlier videos. And also I'm trying to use the same old user details table. And we'll try to connect this grid view to the SQL data source by applying the paging selection and a little bit of road styles. Also, I will try to reduce the size of, uh, reduce the data page size of my grid view from 10 to 3, for example, because I've got only some seven records, as you can see in my SQL Server. This is the data I'm actually showing in the grid view. Now, the most important aspect uh, at this point of time, when I test this page, and when I look at the view source, just watch the records uh, for that, uh, you know, we got three different records. That's the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. So as of now, right, it's a pretty simple demonstration. Now we will introduce the some client ID mode stuff. So to get this done, I'm actually going to the edit columns of my grid view and try to convert to one of your field as a template field and say OK. Now if I come to the source view, you can see we got country as a template field. And um, this is where I'm actually displaying my uh, country name so let me change the caption of this to something like say my country label and I say okay so now if I test this page now you can see what ID will it show for me for the country for all the records so if I see in the view source so you can see my label is has been surrounded by span tag and we've got grid view one, which is the parent container, underscore the child control, and then followed by a generated ID by Microsoft guys. We have 012. So this looks pretty okay because the IDs are pretty expected, you know, predictable, I should say. So this was not the case, obviously, in the earlier versions of ASP.NET where the IDs were never predictable. Now we can predict the ID will be definitely the parent container underscore the child control underscore the ID. But the issue is when I switch to the second page and then if I see the view source one more time, interestingly, the IDs are actually same. So I'm still having them as 0, 1, 2 and that is actually an issue for me because the IDs are actually getting duplicated and if I have to access them in C sharp and that's a bit a tough job. Now, how does this IDs are coming as predictable? That's because by default, the client ID mode is predictable. Client ID mode is a new property in ASP.NET 4.0. Well. Predictable is what we have already seen now. But though the IDs are predictable, but my problem is I'm still having them as um, 0, 1, 2. So to solve this problem, we do have another concept called as client ID row suffix. So instead of appending 0, 1, 2, we can actually append one of the fields data to that ID. So I'll actually go for user ID as my client ID row suffix. The moment I specify the client ID row suffix as user ID, and also by default, the client ID mode is predictable. Now if I test this page, now when I come to the view source now, you can see 
Now the ID is actually 1 for Chris Gell because the user ID value is 1 for that guy and whereas for the second one, Mal Samuels, it should be around uh, 2 and for Ricky Ponting it's 3. Interestingly, if I take you to my next page and then if I go to the view source, now I should be having it as 4, 5, 6. So that's a clear demonstration about the client ID row suffix where the suffix can be one of the value that you can pick up from the bound fields. So in addition to the client ID mode as predictable, we do have something like say auto. Okay, so I'm leaving the client ID mode as auto, but for the time being, I need to remove the client ID row suffix from user ID, then only I can demonstrate to you what does auto actually means. So, I will change this to auto ID and then test this. Now the client ID mode is auto and also you can understand the suffix I have removed it. So what difference does it make from predictable to auto? Auto is obviously uh, this you can see CTL02, CTL03, CTL04. This has been generated by the system automatically for us. So interestingly, so 234 means you can uniquely identify. But what if, if I go to the second page and if I look at the IDs one more time, there's still 234. CTL2, CTL3 and CTL4. So your problem is not solved. And that's the reason client ID mode and um, client ID row suffix should be used together. Of course, the client ID mode I can actually use at the um, grid view level as well, no issues. Now, if I say client ID mode equal to predictable, so at a page level it is auto ID and at a control level it is predictable. Now, if I test this, now if I take you to the view source. You can see now I'm having it as no CTL01, no CTL02 because at a control level I have set the client ID mode as um, predictable. So now you understand what is a client ID mode setting it as, setting its value as auto ID or setting its value as uh, predictable. There is another one um, for the uh, I can't specify the client ID mode as static for this country label. So in this case, what happens now? So ideally, wherever the IDs needs to be generated randomly or dynamically, that is where it is using this. Now intentionally, I'm setting the client ID mode as static. And now if I test this, if I go to the view source, you can see for the the static means my country label, my country label, and my country label. So whatever ID that I have actually given in my source view, and the same ID is being used at the time of runtime. Obviously, in this, in this case, lots of duplicate IDs, and um, in future, if you have to access one of the ID programmatically, we have a problem. So that is how, in this demonstration, I have clearly explained to you at a page level, I have an auto ID. At a grid view level, I have it as a predictable. But inside a grid view, at a template field level, I have the client mode as static. It's up to you. Mostly, yes, we don't um, prefer to use static because we don't want to have the duplicate IDs. Uh, that's how I have demonstrated to you the client ID mode and then the client ID row suffix as well. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you wish to buy full length videos, write to itacademy.in and we shall assist you with that. Thanks for watching, enjoy your day and bye bye.